every time I detach, I manifest. Every time I experience movement, every time I experience, I experience my blessings is because I'm not thinking about manifestation. It's because I trust the universe that I already have what it is that I desire. I trust the universe that that goal that I wanted so bad, it's mine. So I literally just live my life. Like every time my YouTube goes up, it's because I'm not thinking about it. It's because I'm actually li living my best life. I'm going to the concerts, I'm going to trips. Like I recently did my trip to Miami, which is literally like, was one of my biggest dreams. Like this trip just literally, you know, came into my lap. Just, I was not thinking about it. Just, you know, occurred to me like, oh, let's go to Miami. And I, you know, spoke to my mom and I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that's very doable. We can go. And I went. So I planned this for like five months and basically went ahead the best time of my life. Like I'm so grateful for this trip because of so many reasons that I'm not going to say here. Otherwise this video is going to be like an hour long. But anyways, like just to tell you that every time I detached, I manifest. I've been applying for my dream job for like three years. And this job has a lot of phases, right? And every time I was going to my email during these three years, I was nervous, like, I didn't get the job. I didn't pass this first phase. Like, I didn't go to the interview. But then, this is my reality for like three years. But then, this summer, back in June, I was like with friends, I was having fun, and I had like 30 minutes to apply for the specific job. I applied, and guess what? Three days later, they told me, oh, uh, we want you to do some of these exams so you know you can start the, the recruitment process and y'all i passed my all exams i'm gonna have the interview for my dream job and do you know why because i let the universe do its job i'm not all the time on my phone i'm not always checking my emails and whenever I check my emails from this specific company, I have this feeling like I got the job. This job is mine because I was born to do this. I was born to be on this company. And this is what I want you to understand. If you go by life, like this is what you're meant to do. Okay, like this is, you are meant to be with that person. You are meant to live on that country. You are meant to stay on the country that, that, is your, uh, that you want. You are meant for that. Like, you came to earth to experience that. If you put that in your, in, in your head, why are you scared? Like, you cannot be scared of something that you know it's already yours. Like, are you scared of going outside and go for a coffee. No, because you know that there's 100 coffee shops and you can just go. And I'm saying like, are you scared of not having a home? No, because you have a bed, you have a bedroom, you live in a house and you know that's your reality because you know it's yours, like, it's yours, you know that. So you're not scared that later on you won't have a house because you have it, okay? So I think like this is what helps me when I go by life, like the dream I want, the reality that I want, my goal is meant for me, life gets easier. Manifesting gets easier because really, you don't have to burn out yourself to have something. If you know in your core, that's your path. If, let's say, if you believe in God, if God told you, like, this is your path, just keep going. If you have that inner voice saying, this is the way, even if it gets tough, this is the way, just keep going. Why are you scared? You don't have to be scared because 
this is your path. You are meant to do this. Let's say that you're taking a course, you're doing a degree, like, for example, you're doing a degree of, you know, you want to become a doctor. So you do the university, you do all the exams, you pass the exams, you do your placements, and then you get the job. You were meant to do that. However, are you scared that you won't be a doctor? No, because even if you fail the first interview, you're gonna keep trying, you're gonna keep going because you know in your core, that's your path, why you treat your dream reality, your desire differently. Like, you don't have to treat it differently. You just have to know that it's yours, that you're gonna do everything that it's possible to do, and it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Even if you don't have it today, you don't have it tomorrow, you don't have it in a year, you know it's yours. You know it's will, it will work out because that's written on the stars that you're meant to have more. You were meant for more. You are deserving of more. And I think like people go into the trap of these camps uh, of manifestation coaches because they're fucking impatient. Because you cannot fucking wait for your blessings. Like, you need someone to tell you, oh, you can have your blessing in a second. But what if, what if you don't? What if you need time to tell your brain that you are worthy of that? And once you know you are worthy of that, once you, you are aligned with that reality, once you work your ass off to live, on that fucking reality you have it why are you buying courses for someone to tell you what it's free what you can come on my channel and see and watch and consume in fucking practice like manifestation is easy manifestation can be a bit overwhelming and you know can burn you out if you're fucking impatient, if you don't believe in yourself, if you're not resilient, like, I actually feel, I'm a bit scared about this generation because we sometimes just want the quick fix. But let me tell you something, like, sometimes we go through things in life that makes us strong, that makes us who we are. So, again, if, you know that your dream person, your dream trip, your dream career, it's yours. Why are you stressing? Even if it takes five years, why are you stressing? Like, I've been manifesting so much since I applied this logic. Like, I'm, I went to Miami, okay? I passed all my exams on this job. I'm going to an interview and I'm, I can tell like this job is very tough to get. I'm gonna see my favorite band for the second time. I'm going to see them next week. Bear in mind, once I had to wait 12 fucking years and guess what? They just announced another tour for next year. So I'm gonna see next year again. Hey, honey, they are on my vision board. I do my work, but I'm not constantly, you know, burning myself because of my manifestation. I just let it be. I put my intention out to the universe and the universe does the rest. I also received a comment from a subscriber saying that manifest the detachment is relaxing, however, it can be a bit um, frustrating because he because sometimes people think like, oh, if I'm not manifesting, like, I won't have that. But that's just not true. That's just your self-sabotage again. Because, like, let's say that you go to the gym, right? And there's some days that you might be sick. There's some days you might, you know, you just don't feel like going. But all the hard work that you've put, it doesn't go away. Because you know your end goal, your end goal is to be fit, okay? Your end goal is to live a healthier life. And just because you don't go for one, two days, doesn't mean anything, you know? Because you have that goal. You know what you want. 
And just because you don't manifest every day, in fact, you don't have to manifest every day, and just because you don't do that, it doesn't mean that your desires won't come. It doesn't mean you won't have your dream reality. It just means, and this is what I truly believe, like, if I'm not manifesting every day, it's because I'm trusting the process, okay? If there's people, they manifest every day, they do their affirmations every day because they're, they, because they're so insecure and they have to saturate their, their, uh, their mind saying, I have this, I have this, or I am this, I am this. So they can actually start believing it and they will kind of stop doing their manifestations because they'll just believe. But I think when you truly believe it, when you truly, you know, give that job to the universe, you don't have the need to keep, you know, manifesting, burning yourself out every day, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. You know, like, try to detach from your desire. Your desire is no bigger than you. Like, honestly, it's the same, like, if, let's say you are on this, let's say you are like on a situationship with a guy or with a girl, and you know, you want them so bad, right? And you're giving that energy that, oh my God, I need you, I need this person. The only thing you're gonna do is to push them away. However, if you don't give that vibration, if you don't give that vibe, they will want you even more. Because you are not on the lack, you are, you are on the abundance mindset. And this is what I want to tell you, like, if you keep manifesting every day, doing that every day with uh, the, 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 the lack mindset, they will just trigger you even more and more and more. However, if you do your affirmations, you start feeling like, okay, I'm start believing this. This is this is my truth. This is my reality. Your vibration will shift. This is why I say detach from your desire and do things that make you happy. Because when we do things that actually feel our soul, our vibration is just here. It's always you know top top top. And that's how you can actually achieve your goal. And you do that by detachment. Again, guys, and I'm gonna repeat myself, every time I detach, I manifest. So guys, I hope this video was beneficial for you. Don't worry, I'll be coming with way more videos. I'm gonna maybe do a video of how to do your vision board because you know, Jan is coming and I love to do vision boards. I love you so much and can't wait to see you soon. Bye!